Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in Heidelberg, Germany, in the garden of some collectors of rare fruit. And this thing here is quite a rare one indeed. Well, not a hundred percent ripe, but ripe-ish already. Let's see. Well, looks like your random yellow plum. What's the yellow plum? Basically, it's like a blue plum, but in yellow. <laughs> More or less elongated, but yellow. However, it is being sold under the nice name Aprimira. Basically, the vendor claims that this is a, an apricot Mirabel hybrid. However, the owners of the garden, they not only like to collect rare fruit, they also like to research them online. And they say that the University of Hohenheim uh, claims that this is actually not a... Well, they say this is basically one of those random freak hybrid seedlings which show up somewhere. And if they are lucky enough to be discovered by some gourmet or gardener, they will be propagated if they are tasty enough. I've discovered a lot of such freak hybrids myself, and actually with some of them I think you could uh, propagate them you could propagate them uh, as a collector, but I haven't found one which is interesting and tasty enough to take over the international fruit markets. Yeah, however, the university claims that this um, random seedling, random seedling means it, 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 it wasn't achieved by artificial pollination, but it was achieved by pollination by insects, so nobody knows um, where the pollen and where the, and, uh, where the uh, seed actually comes from. They don't know which tree it grew on. But this university says that this is actually a hybrid between, I, I forgot now, well definitely there was a yellow plum in there, but the other one, I will ask again, I'm not so sure if it was a real Mirabel or a cherry plum, the other parent. So I'll have to research this again. But basically what they say, what this university says, is that there is no apricot in the mix, but this is just a hybrid of different plums. Well, let's put it to the taste. Here we have two fruit. One pretty soft one, which already starts rotting here, and one not completely soft one. Let's try the not completely soft one first. Hmm. Tastes like an um, underripe cherry plum to me. Hmm. Can discover no. Mirabel flavor and no apricot flavor. Also no peach or apricot fuss on this one. And also basically no flavor. Let's see if the reason is that this fruit is underripe. Maybe a fully ripe and already rotten fruit will be more flavorful. Oh yeah, when I smell it, it has some... Well, it has some plum flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it reminds me a bit of Mirabel, but could also remind me of a lot of other plum varieties. Not sure. Hmm. Taste-wise, not too sweet. Hmm. Yeah, well, the flavor was a little bit more interesting than the taste. The taste is more or less bland. But the last weeks were reasonably sunny, but not very, not very hot and not too sunny. Hmm. I mean, it's a good plum. I guess if it wasn't force ripened by the worm inside, oh, look, here are the big pink worms. And by the rot here. Maybe if we, if we leave it enough time to ripen properly, it will be tastier. But for now, I can say... There is nothing peach, uh, no, there is nothing apricot-like I can find here. Also, the the twigs basically look to be like blue plum twigs, not like apricot twigs. Yeah, nothing, nothing apricot-like, so I would tend to say, yeah, this could be a 
hybrid between a cherry plum and some other plum. I'll check again what the university says. Would be interesting if it was an apricot hybrid, but I guess it's it's easier to market something as an apricot plum hybrid than just as a new plum variety which was created by hybridization of two other plum varieties. So folks, this was the, what was it? The Aprimira, a mysterious Prunus hybrid. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.